do another Q and A video. These are questions that people have been sending me on um, Instagram, YouTube, yeah. Twitter, yeah. anything. And we well, haven't had time to rehearse our answers or even look at the questions mm. really because we've been so busy big and today we have planned on practicing my answers so that we sounded really slick and cool and everything. No, definitely not. It's not our style of music. Fly by the seat of our pants, really girls. Yeah, so let's uh, let's roll and do the first get question. Straight away. Right. right. So on YouTube, Nelly Ritchie asks, the interior of the shop is so cute and beautifully designed. Did you do it yourselves? First of all, thank you very much Nelly. Yeah, yeah nice thanks Nelly. Oh, that's nice. And secondly, we did it all by ourselves with a lot of help from our lovely other halves, families, friends, we did a lot of favours. Beg, borrow, and stole every favour that we possibly could. It was ridiculous. Yeah. We just baked cakes for everybody yeah. and made them work. Yeah, it was really hard work actually. Like I don't know if a lot of you have been in our shop, but the ceiling is like enormous and we painted it all ourselves. And uh and Katie was the only one brave enough to go up to the top of the ladders. I got halfway and started nearly crying, so I was too scared. <laughs> Also, what is your favourite sweet treat? So, you stuck two questions in Laura Hall. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we didn't work together before we started the shop. We we're just friends and um, we've known each other now for how many years? Like, I have no idea. I would say about 13 or 14 years. Um, we met each other because we both used to be little skater chicks. Um, we used to love going to like Get your skates get your on, skates if any of you on. Just <laughs> check your bag. <laughs> yeah. In. Basically, just like a little ska punk night. We used to love like No FX and New Found Glory and stuff, and wear loads of sweatpants and pretend that we're Avril Lavigne. Yeah. Um, New Chris makeup, all of it. Yeah. That's so. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we met then, and then we we're just really good friends, and then we started the shop because I don't know. We just we both went to uni and did like. Things not related to bacon and stuff, and had like regular like office jobs, and weren't particularly like fulfilled or anything. And then we just saw other people doing this, and then just thought, but it wasn't like hugely popular at the time. I thought, oh, we can make cakes and sell them, and people would want to buy them, and like we're interested in stuff like that. And then yeah, just kind of just practiced at home for like a year, baking, feeding our cakes to our friends and family and stuff. And then once we learned how to bake, um, decided to start selling them. We we'll had our first market like around Christmas time, didn't we? Um, yeah. Was it like 2008 or 2009? 2008. And uh, yeah, and then it just went from there. We sold out on the first night, got really drunk to celebrate. Yeah. And then we went, <laughs> let's do this. And then it just evolved from doing markets and then doing the sh and then we, then we opened the shop and then we opened a bigger shop and now we're like where we are now. So yeah, that was. Good. Good. <laughs> and for your second question, Laura, what is your favourite sweet treat? It is got to be the raspberry Nutella brownie. Cannot be get enough yeah. of those bad boys, they're so good. Yeah. Like we do Every day is a battle to get through without eating one, it's yeah. really hard. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got another question from YouTube from Fandom Chick. What is your favourite thing to bake? That is a really hard one oh, yeah. because we've got to the point now where it's kind of autopilot. We can Big stuff and not even think about it. Like second nature. Yeah, it? it just happens. Um, but I suppose the raspberry Nutella brownies. Because <laughs> when I put the Nutella in the brownie, I've got to do both of myself. There's so many times. Katie has just Nutella all over our face. Nutella, Nutella, Nutella. Like making the brownies, then when I finish doing them, and I'll just catch her like about to put the Nutella like in the bin or whatever, like the empty jar got a spoon in her mouth and then just it's just all over her face all the time all <laughs> over it's on my head like if anyone comes into this shop and i've got brown stuff on my head it's always <laughs> nutella 100 percent because i'm just a fiend yes a definitely. Fiend. these questions are all from instagram now so listen out for your name if you ask us a question on instagram and the first one is from parrot boy and he says what is your favorite breed of dog 
so very I like it. Good question. Good question. Um, I like Shelties because they're little hairy balls of rage. What's a Shelty? The like little mini lassie dog. Oh. Yeah, they're so cute. But, like they're lush and hairy and beautiful and majestic, and then get full storm proper rage. <laughs> they're such little balls of rage. I feel like I identify with a Shelty more than any oh, other dog. I don't think I've seen a Shelty. I love Caesar Milan. Any of you watch the dog with like, <laughs> She does! I can't get enough of it! I can't get Caesar Milan, I'm not even lying. Yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant. I feel like Kay's favorite animal is Scrappy Doo. Oh. So if that answers your question, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right, next hey. question. So, I am the pink one. Being surrounded by delicious goodies all day, how do you resist the temptation to snap out all of the cakes for yourself? <laughs> we don't. We don't. As simple as that, we don't. It's just eat. We are constantly <laughs> on the hunt for anything to just eat just there and then. Yeah. It's really bad. Yeah. It's not so much the cakes that get us though, but you resist the cakes. It's yeah. the stuff that go on or in. Cakes. Yeah, like we never have like we're never like oh let's have a cupcake or let's have a slice of cake. It's always just as we're working. Like if we're putting chocolate buttons into things or um, like anything that goes on the top je oh, jellies in this shop. Like they just can't. <laughs> it's hilarious. She is wild for jellies. So me with Nutella is like here with jellies. I'll, I'll leave little booby traps oh. around the shop for like a little cup of Harry balls <laughs> in a cupboard and. Just Go home and I'll know that when I come in the next day that she'll oh, just no. done the whole cupboard. It's hilarious. The shame, the shame. Oh, SL Stone House. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for asking us a question. <laughs> um, Sarah's our friend. <laughs> um, what is the hardest part of running your own business? I don't know. Everything. I don't know. My, my is, is, um, is like knowing when to switch off. Like, I, I find it really hard to like not just keep working all the time like when I go home like I'll, I'll like just can't switch off from work I'm like oh we need to do this oh I should do this oh I should look at this for the shop like so that I think that's the hardest part it is hard to switch because you're always whenever you're anywhere you are on holiday and yeah. it just kind of you'll be in a bakery and you're never thinking oh this is lovely I'll just have myself a cake you're like oh my god this is an idea yeah oh my god that is such a good idea we'll take that home it, it is really really yeah. to turn your brain off from work and just yeah. kind of enjoy stuff. Right, this is my favourite question, by the way. <laughs> and I haven't prepared an answer at all, so it's just going to have to be off the top of your head. Right. Um, if you could be any vegetable, what would you be? And that's from Seamus McFlurry. That's a brilliant name, I love you. Um, okay, you're going to have to go first. Right, so I don't buy it. Well, I'm torn between two. So I think either broccoli, because I love broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> and I eat it like every day, like I love it. But broccoli, because like you have some class sort of afro going on with you if you were a broccoli. Good. Or spring onions, because I think spring onions are like, would be like the life and soul of the party. Because like down the bottom they're all like slinky and nice, and then at the top they're just like, why? Like, <laughs> is that happening? It's having a wild time, what I say? Oh, I don't know. I think I would be a sweet potato because you can be sweet and salty at the same time. Oh, there you go. Oh, and I've got a tough skin. Oh, that is definitely me. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> the next question is from um, X O X O Sophie X O X O. Right. <laughs> That's a good name. Um, and it's on Instagram. And she says, "What is your favourite thing to make?" Um, so kind of already said this yeah. before. Um, Katie likes making the brownies, the, brownies, the Nutella brownies. So she's like the Nutella. Um, I don't know. I think I kind of like making cookies just because I know as soon as they come out of the oven, then we always have yeah. one. <laughs> so just give it a cup tea, just as a tester. So yeah, we just like to cook anything that we like to eat afterwards. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Which is pretty bad, but never mind. Right. Right. Um, we've got King Kitchen. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, would you consider running classes? No. <laughs> no, we tried in the past and we just haven't got the manpower, we haven't got the time. Yeah. It takes so much effort to run the shop, we just haven't got yeah. enough hours in the day to run classes. There's I mean, only the two of us, yeah. maybe. Um, 
so sadly, yeah. I'm afraid not. And <laughs> that is exactly what these videos are for. Well, yeah, exactly! <laughs> they are running classes. Our kids are in classes every single Sunday. Tune in. Get, away, get, get your mixing bowls out and get big. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the next one is from XX Bethany, I think, 2013. And she says, Hi, Kate, ladies, which is really Winky cute. Because that's what she calls us in the shop, this little girl. She's really sweet. Um, what's your favourite music from Ellie? Hi, Ellie. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> so, favourite music. Do you want to go first? Oh, God. That is the, it's one of the hardest questions. Like, what's your favourite band? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. We've been listening to, listening to a lot of Elvis today in the yeah, showcase. He's got a bitchin' Elvis playlist, and uh, I've got that's a big, really good. massive crush on Elvis. Yeah. I absolutely love him. So I'm not going to Vegas next one. year, so obviously we've been listening we'll to a lot Elvis. of Elvis. Yeah, good crap. Um, oh God, I don't know. We did have a little theme tune for a bit, didn't we? Um, which was that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah. we used to sing it in the shop, like, we're on a mission, yeah. but guess, let's get all I these orders done. We're on a mission. <laughs> That's what you have to Is this the last one? Oh, okay, so this is the last question. And it's from Squirrel Mouse 22. Oh. And he or she says, Advice for someone wanting to start a baking business from home. Um, do you remember why you first got into baking? Um, okay, so advice would just be just. Do work it. your arse off. Just do it. Don't think about it. Do get it. yourself, get your house credited by the council and just yeah. do it. That's yeah. it. There's no thinking about it. It's cakes. Yeah. Big like, cake, get it out there. When we first started, we did, um, we both were working full time and we used to do markets on the side, like farmers markets and things like that. And it was really, really hard. Like I remember taking naps between the oven timer going off. Um, in my living room like at like three four o'clock in the morning yeah. like when we had like a market the day after and you like if you really really want to do something just do it no matter it. how hard it is and like how much you struggle but if you work hard at something it's always gonna work as long as you put your all in like don't be half arsed yeah. about it and don't ever think we get this all the time people come in and go oh it must be a lovely a lovely little job it must be so easy, so easy. it's really not. Yeah. Especially when we first started, it is really hard. Yeah. I mean, you've got to be baking until the early hours. Then you've got to be up at six o'clock in the morning, loading your car up with cakes, driving to uh, this field in the middle of the rain, <laughs> <laughs> so you can have a table with loads of cupcakes on for like four people to yeah. come. It is really hard. Yeah. So just don't be disheartened. Yeah. Like, just sometimes it's hard. And yeah. But, it but it's it's really totally rewarding. Worth it. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, you just have good it. times and bad times, but just keep at it, like, and then and it'll work. And just practice, practice, practice. Keep going. And what was the rest of it? What was the, the rest, rest of the show? Now, are they? Um, do you remember why you first started? Getting oh away? yeah, we yeah. kind of answered that before, didn't we? We just just feeling unfulfilled in our regular jobs, and which, to be honest, I think. Whatever we've got into, if we just have put our all into, we would yeah. have made it work anyway. Um, but we just wanted to do something for ourselves um, and we enjoyed baking. And Katie's got a kick ass blog and she'd already started doing that. And then and then I, I saw like other businesses doing it. And Katie's more like the creative side of the business, and then I'm more like the businessy side of it. So it really works like yeah. well, like together. Like, yeah. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs>
uh, everyone have a lovely Sunday. Hope you're all yeah. having a nice morning, having a lie in and get yourself some brunch. Yeah, eggs yeah. Benedict. All about the eggs. All and about uh, bloody berries. Oh, it's good for that. <laughs> get rid of that over. But yeah, so we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! Bye. Thanks for watching! Bye! Yay! <laughs> yeah. Bye! It only records 10 minute chunks. I got it, bitch! Oh, you're so nice. Okay, so. Like, <laughs> <laughs>